Hey guys, it's Diana, or, well, really, it's my cover stitch. So I just got it not that long ago, and I figured, um, I know a couple of you guys have asked me about my cover stitch, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a little uh, video on how to use this uh, thing, monster, this awesome thing, actually. Um, so first thing, I'm going to show you real quickly how to thread it, and then we'll move on to show you what it actually does. Um, and actually if I maybe if I move it a little bit more closer this way you can see a little bit better the one thing I love about this serger this uh, cover stitch and I know most sergers have this um, uh, tool as well which is really great is they have the picture right on the inside of how you're supposed to thread it so you don't have to revert to your manual every single time that you're threading it so that's really really great uh, so we'll start with the farther uh, thread which is the looper down here and look there's like numbers on everything so you can't really see it, but it's right there. There's the numbers on it. So we go through number one, which is a little hoop, and then number two, and then um, and then we go through the little number three right here, and we push down our tension in number four. Number five, it shows you right here where to go. Six. Whoop. Sorry, my thread is falling, coming apart because this is a stretchy thread. Seven, we're going all the way around. Um, eight, through the little gap. Nine, we pull this one over. We went over ten. We pulling was number eleven, twelve, and then through the little hole. And that's number thirteen. And we use our handy dandy tweezers to pull it out. And then I'll put it to the side. I would probably help if I turned it on. That way you could, mm, doesn't help. All right, and then I push that in and there it is. Oh, my thread came around. Pull a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna thread these ones. They're super easy. So we start with the one on the farther left and he tells you number one. No, it doesn't tell you number one. They all say one. Okay, never mind. Here we go. One, two, three, again, four, five, six, all the way down. And then we go behind. There's a little notch area where you go behind it and we just pull it back and go around just like you do a sewing machine. It would help if I pull my needles all the way up so I can see it. And I'm going to thread my needle. Sorry if my head is right in front of your face. There it is. And we pull it to the side. Now I'm gonna do the same to the second one. See, I'm almost done, not that hard. Easier than the serger, for sure. Because I only have to do one looper. And this threading of the uh, needles it's not that bad uh, now with this one you can actually have three needles if you'd like I like the look of two so I only have two but you can have three if you'd like but I'm only doing two today because that's what I like okay so once that's in through the needle so once that's in through the needles both of the needles I'm going to pull uh, turn the wheel forward till they come up that way the thread goes under and I'm going to use my tweezers and just pull it out. So it's on the thread, it's underneath my foot. And I have my lovely dress. This is the breezy. Um, so what I do is I like to start at the seam, not that it matters. And then um, and I already, you have to make sure that you uh, um, do your fold over you're um, already an, an, um, half an inch so you can measure out from the plate out whatever it is that you how thick how long how wide you want your your um, seam allowance your hem allowance so I did half an inch so here we are um, now I'm gonna go ahead and prop, put it underneath there prop it down and I figure that this is half an inch right here and we're turn it down put the needles down and we're going to go. Really, that's all you do. Sorry, my, my foot is all caught up down here. And I make sure I line up with my, uh, hold on, 
Let me go forward a little bit more. I moved it. It's not at the right spot, so that's why it's going everywhere. Okay, I make sure I line it up with my foot right here. So I'm looking at my foot. I'm not looking at my needles. I'll show you in a minute once it does a little bit more because you can't really see it. Let me do a little bit more and then I'll show you how it looks on the back side. Okay, so I line it up with my foot. I want to be looking at my foot and not my needles because that will wave. If I look at my needles, I'll get all confused. So I look at my foot and I'm keeping it at the edge of my foot. All right. So here's my front and here's my back. If you can see my back. Okay, let me give you a, do a little bit more. It's so much easier, guys, than doing it with... Um, with uh, the regular sewing machine. Ah! When I brought it down to show you guys, I didn't pull it all the way up. So there it went. Okay, so here it is. You can see it better here because it's a lighter color thread and it catches my back of my dress. Especially if you make sure that you fold over just the right amount. Sorry, you don't wanna see my face, so close up. Fold over the right amount and it turns out just like that and then there's a stretchy and everything it's beautiful isn't it it's great so then when i'm done and i and that's it i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna turn up until my needles are all the way up i'm gonna lift the foot up i'm gonna push my um uh tension release and i'm gonna pull it out i have my two threads up here cut it out then I'm gonna push my four tension release and cut it out and there it is my hem is nice and done it's really easy you guys um, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit of a show on my uh, cover stitch. If you are willing, if you are able to get one, I highly recommend it because hemming is just so much easier. Like this dress is going to take me no time as usually it would take me forever. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time for another tutorial. Let me see what else you want to see. I mean, let me know what else you want to see in the comments below. Bye.